On September the 19th, David Lee and Lance Weir will become the first ever challenged athletes to attempt to complete the 508. Previously located in Death Valley and called Furnace oh, yeah. Creek 508, <laughs> the race moved to Reno, Nevada last year to become the Silver State 508. So what's the 508? Well, it's a 508 mile race where athletes have only 47 hours to complete it. David and Lance will be taking part as a relay team over eight individual stages, and they'll be assisted by four able-bodied athletes who will ride these unique tandem bikes and also take turns helping to push the bike using a rear-mounted bar. With just 10 days to go until the race, which has 20,000 feet of climbing in it and a possible temperature range between 30 degrees and 100 degrees, we decided it was time for a tough training day on Mount Palomar to iron out any pre-race issues. With over 12 miles of sustained climbing, Palomar should give the guys a real feel for what some of the harder stages of Silver State 508 are going to feel like. And less than half a mile into the ride, the issues started. Wow. Nice bar. I think taping the... Oh, so you just lay the there, mask. David. Oh, so you just, you just chill out and do nothing. Hey, beer. <laughs> Margarita's better around. <laughs> dang, dang. And... And fortunately everybody's real Zach's a little long. While the guys are fixing David's bike with duct tape, Lance's team are powering their way up Palomar. Yeah, this team really does represent a very unique challenge for the race and, and crew supporting them. Essentially, we'll have four able-bodied athletes who will be riding all, or substantially all, of the 508 miles. Plus, we'll have two challenged athletes who each have their own particular physical issues. David was left paralysed from the waist down after a motorcycle accident in 1990. And although he's an incredible athlete who's competed at various grueling races and done Ironman in the past, this will be the first time he's done anything like the 508, where he'll be riding hard for a stage and then having very little recovery time before he has to get back in the bike again and, and do it all over. Um, Lance is a C5 quadriplegic, so his disability is more severe than David's. Um, with Lance, our biggest concern is that he can't regulate his own body temperature. So we need to be really careful to keep him cool as the temperatures soar and warm when he's up at seven and a half thousand feet on a mountain pass in the middle of the night. Then our able-bodied athletes, um, well they're Zach Thorpe who's just done Leadville, Andy and Rodney Boyd who've done the 508 as a two-man team many times in the past, and Glenn Plake who's probably better known for his freestyle skiing downhills instead of pushing bikes up them and it, for them they're all incredible athletes but riding 508 miles um, in a bike that they don't ride regularly and um, pushing it is it's going to be you know, a massive challenge for all of them. Everyone made it up to the top of Palomar safely and took the opportunity to chill out while Jared, our mechanic, and Glenn improved on their duct tape fix from earlier. Then halfway down Palomar, David's bike gets a flat. But, you know, it's a perfect opportunity for Glenn to entertain us with another Glenn Blake hilarious story. And then they talk to the but you know, it's like, you, it's like you can tell too, anytime you get in trouble, it's not like you have that ability to do down and go. For the final climb of the day, we send the guys up over Mesa Grande. That's a really nasty climb. It's about a mile and a half and the grades get up to 15 or 16 percent in places. So it was really tough for them. But at, at the, in the final stage of 508, they've got a, a mile and a half climb that's harder than this. So it's got to be done. So that's it, training day complete. Uh, next up is the real thing. Uh, if you'd like to help get Team Chase to the finish line, we have a GoFundMe page set up. Uh, the costs of doing this are pretty high, so any financial help is huge. And uh, You can see details of that on the screen now. Uh, otherwise, stay tuned for highlights from the race in a couple of weeks.